Hey y'all, it's Michael, and for today's video, I thought to get me back into reading uh, more short stories, I thought I would do a whole video dedicated on Ahiti by Roxane Gay. So after each story that I read, I'm just going to give you guys my quick short thoughts about it, and then um, give you like an overall what I think about it in the end. Uh, as, as I was flipping through the pages, I realized that these are more flash fiction than uh, short stories than anything. Um, so that means it's going to be a pretty quick video. So I thought this would be a great idea just, you know, to get me back into short stories. So here we go. The story is called Mother Effers. Um, and it's about, uh, it's, it's so short. I don't know if I should give you guys like synopsis of, um, <laughs> these stories, but the first one is actually pretty funny because it ends with kind of like a, uh, a joke almost at the end and I did like that. Now the one thing I don't get on here um, and I looked it up on Urban Dictionary uh, this story involves Gerard and he's uh, he moves to the states and he's from Haiti but then the kids call him HBO and I was like home box of it? <laughs> so I looked it up on Urban Dictionary and um, the other option is uh, something about like McDonald's but then I was like no that can't be it but then the other one is like help help a brother out but I was like that can't be it right all right the next one is called about my father's accent I really like this one listen to this line uh well listen to this sentence it's so good the way that the it projects it mimics sound almost like oh, it sounds so good he's been on American soil for nearly 30 years but his voice sounds like port au prince the crowded streets the blaring horns the smell of gr grilled meat and roasting corn the heat thick and still I like this one. Now, because I'm not Haitian or um, I'm not from the Caribbean or anything, but Filipinos, I'm Filipino, uh, have a certain accent too. And it's one of those things where whenever someone speaks, like whenever I meet someone random and I always can tell like they're Filipinos, is when they say something and there's certain there's certain nuances that they say, like certain words um, that you're like, oh, you're Filipino. I can tell. <laughs> Next one is called Voodoo Child. Um... I think it's okay. I thought it was okay. It's about voodoo. Um, I, I, I thought it was okay, so. The next one is, there is no E in zom zombie, which means there can be no you or we. So, the this was actually a really interesting story about, uh, a pair of lovers um, and seeing the dynamic of it. You know what? I would, I liked it. Individually, I would give it like maybe a three out of five. I, I liked it. So yeah, on to the next one. This is going so fast. <laughs> Pronounce Zabi. Zabi. <laughs> All right, so I just finished reading um, Sweet on the Tongue, which is so far compared to the other um, stories are is the longest yet. I liked it. Uh, it's weird because it starts off as, um, without giving too much away, it starts off as like a love story. Um, and we're going back and forth between two timelines. But then it comes to, it comes in the middle and we find out these horrible things that happened to this uh, woman. I did like like all the symbolisms and the connection, especially once you get to the end, um, especially about sugar. Uh, it's weird because it's like symbolizing that sugar has this sweet connotation to it and like happy connotation, like when you eat sugar and whatnot. Uh, but it, for her, for the character, it has these dark memories with it. Uh, so yeah, uh, on to the next one. But I think I'm gonna take a break because uh, 90 Day Fiance is about to come on. So I gotta watch that. Finished cheap, fast and filling. And I really liked it. Um, it's What I like about it is this connection of cheap, fast and filling with the hot pockets. Uh, so I really like all the connections. It's about this um, immigrant who comes and works uh, in the US. That's what I think I'm really liking um, so far with these short stories is like how they all connect within this one singular thing that they circled. So I really like it. On to the next story. Okay, so I just finished reading In the Manner of Water and Light. Um, this one I thought was okay. It's not my favorite for sure. So, Jer Gener generational type of story which I do enjoy but I feel as though that this should have been this would have been better in a like as a full-on novel uh, because some of this like it was very bulleted like in the way that it told the story just like poof, poof, this is what happened da, 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 da. and I really wasn't like full on with it um so I think this sh this that short story in particular um would have worked better as a full-on 
novel. All right, the next story was Lacrimosa. Um, so I had to look that up what it meant, and it's a Latin for, according to Wikipedia, it's Latin for weeping and like tears. And once this story is really interesting because it plays a similar to that previous story, like with the sugar, um, where it has connotations. Like, um, so Lacrimosa is about like the weeping and like feeling when you feel like especially because it it um references mozart there's this feeling of like crying and like exultation almost and then the part of the story where the the soldier comes in and what this soldier does and what it does to the country this is a story where it has layers i, I like it it has layers all right the next story was called the harder they come and it's about like the cruise and like industry and like the tourism that comes to Haiti but then also like behind this facade is also about uh like the grimmier nastier sex portion of it like the behind the scenes type of thing uh and I did like it the one thing I am noticing that I, I really do like about all of these stories is that they almost seem to connect probably because they're like all located in the same setting or not but what I really do enjoy is the double entendres, the double meanings, the double sides of like everything. Uh, and I'm really liking that part. So yeah, on to the next story. The next story is called All Things Relative. Um, and it's about like things being relative. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory with this one. Uh, this one I thought was okay. I get, I see what Roxane Gay is doing. Um, and yeah, I, and, you know, I think it's okay. Right, the next story is called Gracias Nicaragua y lo sentimos. Um, sentimos? Sentimos? I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, but this one was actually really interesting because it's the first time we actually see, like, Haiti, um, which is, I believe, the old, well, like, the previous name for Haiti. Also connects to the previous story. <laughs> it connects to the previous story about like this misconception and this american view that haiti is poor finish the dirt we do not eat and what you need to know about a haitian women like i thought it was okay um both of them i do like the haitian women i do like the haitian women one a little bit better but yeah so far it's okay so yeah i see how the stories are uh, connecting uh theme wise and whatnot uh so that's for me, I'm like on the fence about that because on one end, it's great because it has like this theme going around, but it's also like, it feels a little bit, uh, I don't want to say repetitive, but it feels um, too close to each other. That That's a perfect, perfect way I'm feeling about it. They just feel, the theme-wise, they feel really close to each other. Um, maybe some rearranging of the stories, maybe? But yeah, I'm gonna keep going on. I'm almost, uh, I'm almost done. The next story was called Of Ghost and Shadows, and it's about two girls who are in love, and about how like their family especially their moms are against it and it's uh they got caught several times and so it's exploring this um cultural thing how they don't accept um homosexuality uh it's actually really interesting which right, so uh, it's it was the last story it's called a cool dry place and it's about a couple um gabriella gabrielle and yves who basically makes a trip to um they're they're in haiti so they're going to uh go across the ocean to uh miami and it talks about their journey essentially and overall i oh all right so this is going to be my overall thoughts for aiti by roxanne gay um as you can tell through the previous clips, the one thing that I do like is I do enjoy Roxanne Gay's writing. Um, I really enjoy the double entendres and a lot of the topics that she do talk about, um, I really did like. And it is it is universal because even though it is dealing with uh, people from Haiti, I'm... A lot of these things are universal. Like I said, I love the double entendres. I love the double meanings. Within these short amount of times, Roxanne Gay is able to give a lot, and I do like that. The one thing I, um, I'm i not the biggest fan of is that because this is a lot of the stories kind of overlap and um, they talk about similar things. And I don't know, maybe it's the ordering of the stories or whatnot. Um, is that it felt, it's, a lot of it is starting to feel repetitive at one point, but that could be like a another side of the coin where it's like since there's this one theme of 
Haiti. Obviously, it's going to talk about a lot of the stories are going to talk about the same thing. I also did enjoy uh, like the history behind a lot of the like um, the government, and we see it through the normal people. We don't see it through the government. We see their lives through the through the people. Um, also, another thing um, that I'm I wasn't the biggest fan of is some of the stories. I felt like. Because a lot of them are like flash fiction, essentially. They're like one, two pages. It, it's really quick. But the longer ones or like the medium sized ones, um, especially like at the last one, I felt as though I wanted it expanded um, because I just wanted more. Uh, like it's, it's always a weird balance when you're writing these short stories because you want to give enough information, but not too little. If you read this collection or any of the short stories uh, in the collection, uh, let me know what you think thought about it, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, or if you have any suggestions for um, short story collections for me to do this again, I really enjoy doing this style of um, video. So that would be great to do it again because I think it's like a really good uh, style to do short story collections. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh, bye!